today is wash day it's where we've been parked there's a bunch of trees there's a lot of sick all over the bus and i've got my bucket and my brush and my soap so the best way to access the roof of the bus is through our roof hatches here As you can see, the top of this bus right here is pretty dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this entire bus, starting with the roof, working myself down. It's a big job. So here we go. I got the top of the bus washed, came out looking pretty good. So I'm done with the roof. Now I have to do all the sides of the bus. this little kind of feud between Arwen and Isaiah. Everywhere we go, everyone for some reason wants to know who the oldest child is. Usually when we do go out, everyone thinks I'm the oldest. Arwen is always wanting to be taller than me and she always like stands up high on her tippy toes. Every time we go somewhere. And they always turn to Arwen, so you're the oldest, right? Must be because I'm taller. I think Isaiah is taller than Arwen. Oh, people always think she's the oldest, but she's not. <laughs> you know, Isaiah kind of rolls his eyes and Arwen's like, no. Isaiah's the oldest. I'm the oldest. She can't trade places. They obviously think I'm the oldest. <laughs> Let's just get this clear. I'm the oldest. Um... Zay's so a big kid, Ashton's a big kid, Orange's a big kid, Mimisa, and then Kira and Zach are the little kids. Ethan's on the edge of being an older kid, but he's not quite there. God made us that way. Out of all the little kids, I'm the big kid. We've been to some other flight museums in the past, but this is by far the largest and one of the most amazing collections of planes that I've ever seen. When you first come in, you see this huge plane. You know, spinning around, attached to the ceiling. It was kind of a neat welcome into the Naval Museum. It's a huge model uh, of a aircraft carrier. I love going to museums. I love history and I love to see, especially World War II history. <laughs> In the Air Museum, there is a restaurant called Kubi Cafe. The first thing we're going to do is go into the cafe that they have here at the Naval Air Museum and get something to eat because we're hungry. So we headed to the cafe there. It looks pretty packed. They're on a wait. They've given me a device for informing me when our table's ready. When we went to the restaurant, we had to wait for like a kind of a long time. I'm quick before they give it away. Our table's ready. Let's go. In the cafe, when we sat down, they just had different memorabilia from different teams, flight teams, and their mascots. We played I Spy, and it was kind of fun. It was actually kind of difficult because they'd spot this tiny little plane way off on the other side of the restaurant. I spy my little eye. Something green, you know, and of course there's green everywhere. A very nice man just came by and gave us some cookies. While we were there, we met Dwayne Thiessen. He was the CEO of the museum. There he is. There he is. He's the cookie man. <laughs> so how many of you want to fly airplanes? And I say, I want to fly it. But I said you do. You want to fly airplanes? You want to fly airplanes too? You know you can. Yeah. I flew airplanes. Talked to us about the planes, and he was a Harrier pilot. And he encouraged some of the kids to go to flight school and learn how to fly planes. I want you to give me a call when you go to flight school. So we just finished our meal here at the uh, Aviator Cafe. But 
the museum was actually pretty amazing. And there's like a huge plane. It was made out of wood. navy blue jet that I thought was really cool. It was maybe one of my favorites. And um, they had this big jet engine in the back. Whoa. Whoa. Someone could fit in there. It was big enough I could have crawled in there. This one looks like a firework shootout. It was awesome. This is cool to you, isn't it? Yeah. Some of the planes they had had cutaway views so you could see, you know, into them. Uh, they had cockpits from real uh, Blue Angel planes that we played in, which was pretty cool. My cockpit just broke. to reenact and pretend and stuff in the planes. That was my favorite part. We interrupt this program to bring you the adventures of Billy Mark. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's going on? We're just cleaning all the garbage out of the building over here. Oh! You're throwing away a lot of good stuff. Not that I really care for any reason. <laughs> it was great talking to you today. Um, carry on. Bye! What was that all about? No idea. <laughs> yeah, there's these nine people who live on a bus. Really? Yeah, I saw it on YouTube. Incredible. All right, I'm off for home now. All right, see you tomorrow, Frank. Finally. Can I say, I'm good at what I do. Initiate startup mode. Initiating launch. This is awesome! Let's go vertical! Affirmative.
dream. Awesome! The aircraft carrier is pretty neat because they have this mock-up of like an aircraft carrier deck area with the big tower on it. There was a gun that we all got on that was originally attached to an aircraft carrier. You could get in and actually like get on one, a gun and like spin this wheel and like you can point the gun to whatever direction you want. We're p pretending to shoot planes down. I mean, I couldn't imagine as planes are going by and you're trying to turn this huge turret, you know, with your hand to, to keep up with these guys. Nuts. <laughs> we got to look inside the aircraft carrier. You guys, come here, there's nothing in here. It's cool. Oh, it's cool. You can see how the beds were laid out. This is what we're going to do in our next bus. We can fit way more bunks, three bunks, much closer together. Little passageways and walkways, and you can see you know, radio rooms and you know, medical rooms. Go U.S. Navy. My favorite part was the elevator ride. So now we feel like we're going down. Uh -huh. No, I'm just kidding. So the kids really enjoyed the 40s set town. They have neon lighting and all the things from that era. You want to go get something to eat? Sure. They have a barber shop. You got a hair press. A pawn shop grocery store with a little farmer's market outside. I'm here to buy some food. On the outside of the little grocery store, um, there were some fruit stands. It's all down one like strip. You feel transported back in time. Oh, you guys, okay, you can go in here. There's a house and you get to go inside it that has an old radio and old sewing machine inside. From California to Florida, Americans plow backyards. So this one section you walk into. It kind of looked like a World War II hideout. There's a plane off to one corner. They had this like old gray truck. Like a radio room and a, and a bedroom. It's really neat. They've done a really great job recreating these scenes from history. They had some beautiful paintings of aircrafts and different planes and stuff that were pretty cool. This jet is heavily damaged and its fuel is leaking out. He's all torn to shreds. So in order to save this jet, this fuel tanker is letting fuel come in. So it gives it time to make it to the aircraft carrier so he can land. Hey, that's what said you got. I think that this Naval Museum has maybe uh, America's best collection. Is there a flap at the back? Not on this. You're not really flying right now. I want to fly! If you're ever in Pensacola, Florida, we highly recommend going to the Naval Air Station where they have the Naval Air Museum. I went to the museum and I saw tons of planes everywhere. It's definitely worth the time. And it's completely free unless you go eat at the cafe. That's not free. That cost money. It's awesome. Uh, my brothers and sisters and I just had fun. It was just exploring there. It's a great place to take your children, educate them on you know, history, and let them enjoy flight. This is Bus Life with Nine. Cut. Woo. Cut. What? What is this? Take 45. Oh, Isaiah, yeah. you're supposed oh, to be looking yet. that way. Oh. I love spinning. And action. There's a lot of ways you can follow what we're doing on goodnewsbus.com. 
you can find all the things we've done with the bus and uh, how we converted it. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comment section below. Good news, bus is awesome! Oh, oh. Ah, oh, ah! Ah! You okay, Isaiah? Yeah! Cut! <laughs>